getting ready for the big game because, yes, Super Bowl Sunday is about more than just football, right? It's also about the funny ads and the snacks. Join us live, food expert Patty Mastraco with a few yummy recipes. Hi, Patty. Hey, I thought it was all about the snacks, isn't it? <laughs> Duh. That's right. That Duh. <laughs> It all is right. at my house. Exactly. All right, okay, so, so where do you want to start? I know. So I've got, okay, this, you know, the game's tomorrow, so I'm making it easy for you. So my first stop was Smart and Final. You can order online if you don't want to go into the stores, but that's where I got all of this stuff. I've got fantastic First Street products, which is their private label. I'm using Chobani yogurt in all my recipes. I love Chobani. It's just the best flavor, texture. Yeah. And I'm kind of mixing and matching like football plays. So what oh. I did is I've got my traditional dips. So for Tampa, I added a little bit of orange to my guacamole. Oh. I've got some chips. These are the Sun Harvest Organic Chips, which are fantastic. Uh, I've got a little bit of Greek yogurt dipped with some ranch and, of course, some wing sauce. And then I made a spicy hummus also with, uh, you can either go to my website and find a recipe for hummus or just pick up the, the First Street hummus and swirl a little bit of the wing sauce in it. Oh, oh good idea. Pico de Gallo. So, yep, dip away. And don't forget, you know, most of us are celebrating at home with kids. This, so um, pick up some fun snacks for the kids, too. Some popcorn, some uh, fruity chibani yogurts. Make sure you have some good stuff on hand for kids. Okay. So my next recipe is I just took a can of the nacho cheese sauce, heated it up with a little of our pico de gallo, and I have a tater tot bar here. So... You can Ooh. see I put some tater tots down there, all crispy, crunchy. Everybody loves tater tots. Yeah. You can put on some nacho cheese sauce, plenty of yogurt, bacon bits, green onions, and uh, our um, Kansas City barbecue chicken, of course. Oh, So we're using nice. our First Street barbecue sauce. So yeah, so I mean, how easy is that? Just super easy. Put it in a, a little crock pot if you want to keep it warm. but. Super easy. You could also use some of your hummus on this. So that's what I said. Just kind of mix and match. Guacamole mm -hmm. would be great. So, yeah. So so just do your, your tater bar up. And if you don't want to cook, there's plenty of snacks, right? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that uh, barbecue uh, sauce before. I'm going to have to get some it, of that. Oh, it's, they have, this First Street, they have, there's three varieties. They're all really good. So it was perfect. This good. is just it does. the First Street roasted chicken that I pulled off the bone and stirred in. The barbecue sauce. Oh, so, okay. Like I said it's just everything. Is oh, so you didn't really easy. cook. You prepared. <laughs> I you didn't made, really cook. You I made it easy. It. Yeah. She made it easy for herself. Shh, don't. I don't tell. Well, but you know, you know, a lot of people, like you said, if you haven't planned ahead, you can just run to Smart and Final and grab all of these things. Okay. And you're good to go. All right. Very good. Very good. Love it. All, all right. right. Clean the table. We'll talk to you next hour. She's gonna tell us about uh, how to make your own chocolate bombs. Or... Ooh. All right.